Have you ever heard of gratitude cleaning and do you know why it will change your life? I'm about to tell you that today. I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, gratitude cleaning is cleaning something and being grateful that you get to clean it. Don't go away yet. I know what you're thinking. You're like, no, I hate to clean. But let me back up a step and tell you where that comes from. When we are small children, our parents say things like, go clean your room. And then as a child, we want to push our boundaries and see how much power we actually have as a child. So we say, no, I'm not going to clean my room. And then our parents come back and they say, how many times have I told you to clean your room? So at an unconscious level, we associate parental disapproval with us not cleaning our room. Yes, it's power. I'm in control. I didn't clean my room. But along with that was parental disapproval. Then our parents come in and say, if you don't go clean your room right now, you don't get to watch TV. So then we associate cleaning with punishment. And so cleaning is not fun. It's a punishment. It brings on parental disapproval. And although it gives us the power to exercise who we are and our rights, it's not a happy time. So we grow through our lives, pushing those boundaries and knowing that cleaning is one of those hot spots that will get our parents upset at us. Okay, well, there you go. Then what happens when you become an adult and you become the parent? And now you find yourselves saying, well, I've never said this to my kids. And then you find yourself saying, go clean your room, right? So here is this weird, unhappy moment of cleaning. And as a parent, when you have to clean your own house, you're like, oh, it just never ends. We say things like this to ourselves. Oh, why is the house always messy? How come no one will help me clean up? Ah, 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 ah. And we have all this angst that we've built up through over an entire life of cleaning. So it's not unusual that lots and lots of people really don't like to clean. All right, now I want to stop for just a second and I want to erase everything that just happened in the past. I cannot change your past, but I can help you change your future. So check this out. Instead of being angry when you get to clean something and feeling sorry for yourself and bringing on all these unwanted, unexplained, unconscious feelings of shame, you're not good enough, parental disapproval, a lifetime of hate towards cleaning, I want you to stop and say, I get to clean this. How cool is that? Here's an example. In front of me, I have a blender and this is a Vitamix blender. This is not a sponsored ad, but I want to share this with you. I got this blender about 10 years ago. Every day at the top of the day, I make myself a spinach smoothie. And this goes inside my cleaning caddy or it goes with me to the office or wherever. And I drink two of these a day. It's my breakfast and my lunch. And I drink these to keep up my sugar levels throughout the day. Now it's hundred percent natural. There's no milk in it. There's no sugar sweetening in it, but I do put a banana in it so that it's got nice flavoring, but it's banana spinach smoothie with my flaxseed and my protein powder and my collagen and all that stuff that goes in there. Okay. So I'll leave a smoothie recipe below because I know you're going to ask me what my smoothie recipe is. I'll leave that in the notes below. This is a smoothie that has changed my life. So instead of getting upset this morning as I overfilled my blender and I start spitting, you know, spinach juice all over my kitchen cupboard, it oozes down the side of the blender. It goes down the side of the blending machine and onto my granite countertop. I could say, oh, drat. Now I got to clean this up. I just hate this blender. What a mess this made right? I could say that, but instead I stopped, I grabbed a microfiber towel and I start wiping it up. And I said to myself, how cool is it that I get to clean this blender? How cool is it that I've had this blender for 10 years and it's been useful every single day? How cool is it that 10 years ago as a small business owner, I was able to afford a $400 blender. How cool is that? At the time, my husband was very large. And by switching our meals over to smoothies, he was able to lose a hundred pounds and he's done really well keeping it off over the last decade. How cool is that? During the course of my cleaning and going to the office and being busy every single day and not having time to cook, how cool is it that a blender replaced two meals of my day? Do you know how much time that saved me in the kitchen? This blender has been such a blessing in my life. Instead of hating on my blender, I just want to give it a great big hug and say, wow, check it out. I get to clean this blender. How cool is that? Right? And it's not just the blender. It's the toilets. When we clean our toilets, we're like, the toilets have rings in them. Ugh, I can't believe, you know, we got to clean the toilet. 
Well, the reality is this, you get to clean the toilet. How cool is that? Here's how cool it is. I have a brother that sold all of the stuff he has. He sold his house, he sold his cars, he bought an Astro van, and he went to live down by the river because that's what young kids do. And it was this really cool live in the van life. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, that's cool. What that means to me is I'm gonna spend the rest of my life looking for the next gas station if I gotta go pee because there's no toilet in an Astro van. Okay, I'll tell you how cool it is that I get to clean my toilets every single day. I don't have one, I have four toilets in my house. If I need to go pee, I don't need to go find a gas station. I can go anywhere in my house where there's a toilet. It's convenient. And so I'm happy to spend 10 seconds a day and swish my brush around inside the toilet and make sure that it's clean. I get to clean my toilet. I have a toilet to clean and a washing machine. Do you know how many people have to bundle up their laundry and they got to tote it on their back or tote it in a cart, go hop on the Metro and drive to a laundromat so they can launder their clothes. I'm not going to complain about cleaning out the inside of that icky ring on the front load washing machine. I'm going to clean it out with glee and say, look at me, I'm special. I got a washing machine in my house and all I got to do is just wipe it out after use. Boom. How cool is that? When you start cleaning with gratitude, it makes you grateful for the things that you own. It makes you care for the things that you own. It makes you blessed to own the things that you own. When you are cleaning on purpose and you're cleaning with gratitude, it removes the hate and the shame and the disappointment and this lifetime of whatever it is we've built up saying, I hate to clean. And suddenly cleaning becomes fun. Yes, wait a second, I get to clean my blender. I get to clean the toilets. I get to clean the washing machines. And it doesn't matter what it is in your house, you get to clean it because you are the proud owner of that item. And it changes the way you feel about your stuff. It changes the way you feel about your life. So gratitude cleaning, it can change your life if you will stop in the moment. And instead of saying, oh, it never ends. If instead you'd say, I get to clean this. How cool is that? All right, that's it for today. Leave your questions and comments in the notes below. What are you going to be grateful that you get to clean? I'm eager to hear your response. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.